So we're going to show you how to master a multi-run teeth fillet with a stick welder in no time at all with this video, even if you're a complete beginner. We're using 3.257018 basic coated electrodes, running them on around about 125 amps. So always remember with your 7018s, you've got to run them on electrode positive. So make sure that rod holder's plugged into that positive side of your welding set and get your earth clamp plugged into the negative. So our angle is going to be around about 45 degrees. Always using that drag angle, remember, we're trying to keep that flux the other side of the pool. We don't want that slag coming around the front of us because that's going to push up a weld pool out the way and potentially cause some lack of fusion issues. So for those that aren't familiar with lacquer fusion, basically it's when the weld pool doesn't melt into the parent metal, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to create a weld pool that's part of obviously weld metal from the rod and obviously to two plates as well, so you're forming a single pool out of the three particular areas. So we're coming to the end of that run. Hopefully our run out length, which is obviously the speed that we've been travelling, is correct, giving us a nice even run. So that's run done. I'll get out my favourite little chipping hammer, my trusty little piece of plate. Give it a bit of a de-slag. Now we can see that the run's even on both plates and we've got a nice consistent width all the way down the joint. Right, moving on to run two. This one, we've still got a drag angle. We've lifted our arm a little bit, so we're not 45 degrees. We're just lifting up a little bit because we want to concentrate more onto that bottom plate. So we're covering three quarters of the previous run, fusing down onto the bottom plate, keeping that slag at the back of us so that we don't push our pull out of the way, keeping a nice consistent travel speed keeping that pull width exactly the same so that's laying down the first run ready to stick the next one on the top so the next one on the top we drop our angle now because we're concentrating more onto the top plate forcing it into that top section making sure we achieve the same distance up that plate as we've created with our second run on the bottom so that our angle is still 45 degrees on the profile so that's third run done cheeky chipper out knock the slag off check the profile looking pretty good up to now nice profile 45 degrees moving on to our fourth run so same again same kind of technique as we've done with that previous bottom run so we're laying the foundations for our next layer so we're covering three quarters of that run on that bottom plate keeping our angle slightly up still dragging keeping the slag behind nice consistent speed if we've kept it the same then we'll have exactly the same amount of rod left when we get to the end of this run so coming in run done so that's the first one ready for our next layer so second run on this layer we're laying that half onto that first previous run and half onto our top run of our previous layer so consistent speed controlling the width of the pull with your travel so the trick to layering multi runs is all about your positioning it's setting yourself up so that you're not too far forward or too far back on the previous run what you're aiming to do is the distance out when you put that first run in you've got to try and achieve that with your extra runs as you're working up so that you end up with a 45 degree angle so now we're moving off to our next run, laying that on the top. We've dropped our angle down now because we need to shove that into that back plate. We need to fuse into that back plate, covering half the previous run. Hopefully we now have achieved a 45 degree profile. You use the same technique as this, regardless of the size of the fillet size. So you're layering up every single time, making sure that you've got the positions right so that you're achieving that 45 degree profile. So as you notice there, we're slightly using more rod on that top just to fill that that crevice just that little bit better so cheeky chipper out run done profile looking good so a technique that we use out in the industry is we put a final run on top so we drop down to a 2.5 rod about 90 amps and then we just stick a cheeky little thin run across the top of that last run i think personally it's just a good way to finish off a fillet because you're reducing the amps on the top so you can get rid of any potential undercut that you've put on the previous run and it also just ties it in nicely so that all that the runs look exactly the same kind of width so as you can see on this angle we've dropped it right down down and now we're literally pointing 90 degrees at that top plate still with a slight drag angle so run done as you can see from the fridges product i just think it just looks a lot neater with that smaller run on the top so hopefully you've learned how to tackle a multi-pass t fillet weld in a flat position our next video is going to take it up a little notch to the next level demonstrating stick welding or mma if you want to call it that in the vertical position